I welcome you all, beautiful damsels, to this buffet organized by the Lebanese ambassador to Nigeria, Ambassador Ali Hisasi, for Nigerian models en route Lebanon for the first Nigerian Lebanese fashion show. You're all wonderful people. A big round of applause for yourselves. Well, ladies, the ambassador is about to enter with his half Lebanese and half Nigerian wife, Saran, and his son, Kasim. May we rise. Ambassador, you're welcome. As I was saying, Ambassador Ali Hisase is a Lebanese ambassador to Nigeria. Since his tenure, he has used a great deal of his time and energy in strengthening the bilateral relationship between Nigeria and his country in order to buttress his love for Nigeria. You can see that he married a Nigerian wife, even if this is very much evident on the kid, Kazim. Like when I was introducing him to you, I told you that the wife is half Lebanese and half Nigerian. This is exactly the dream of our amiable ambassador, Ali Hisashi. A big round of applause for him. Let's go to bed. <laughs> well, let me just finish this. Uh uh, but I've been waiting for you since I'm there. Okay, come on. So, Ambassador, listen to me. Put your best men on the job. Do you understand that? Put your best men on the job and come in immediately. Has something terrible happened to one of the ambassadors? Yeah. The Lebanese ambassador's son has just been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Jesus. The same son who had after several days of childlessness. Honey? Oh, 
Uh, we've barricaded the entire area and we've stopped movement in and out of the premises. This way, sir. Yes. Do you have any enemies? I mean, the people who might want to hurt you or hurt your father. Right now, in your mind, who do you think might be responsible for this act? Actually, right now, I can't think of anybody who might want to hurt my family. We have no enemies. I'm an ambassador. Besides the diplomacy work, I find time to get involved in little else. Well, what little else do you get involved in? Well, my family, spend some time with my wife and son, maybe attend one social function or the other. Nothing else. Well, Your Excellency, while I ask you to accept my sympathy, I must also point out to you that this is an embarrassment to us. I am sure the President will want us to leave no stone unturned in order to get to the bottom of this ugly incident. But I assure you that we will find your son. Please do all you can. But it took me nine years to have that boy. I broke up my first marriage and remarried before I finally had that boy. If anything ever happens to him, I'll die. Well, the kidnappers left um, a videotape. They recorded videotape. Um, it's in the custody of my boys now. We shall look at it and analyze it. I'm sure it's going to give us useful clues as to who is behind this dastardly act. Please do all you can, Coach. I'll put my best man on the job. And they will sleep until your boy is found. Sipo! Sir! I want you to put uh, police protection, 24 hour police protection on this house. Beef up security to 30. Yes, sir. Okay. Excellent. لازم نساعد بعض لحتى نعرف كيف بدنا نجيب ليك صار بدك تطولي بالك ليك بدك تطولي بالك يا الله خلص روقي روقي خلص بدنا نجيب Sum of 60 million naira or 400 
thousand US dollars. The number of this account will be given in two calls. Now, if you fail to comply with our demand, the only son of the ambassador will die. Give you seven days to comply. Seven days. Or the little one is going to die. Don't bother to contact us. Because we are always be writing. So that is who they are. Followers of Fort Star, Jude Johnson, pressing for his release. They know damn well that the president will not endorse his release. So why waste their time holding an innocent little boy? It has become a diplomatic issue. If we do not meet their demands, it will strain diplomatic relations between Nigeria and the ambassador and his government. This is crazy. Why won't the son of a foreign diplomat over a domestic issue he knows nothing about? That's their aim, sir. That's their aim. To hit us where that's the most. Attract international attention and then become heroes in the eyes of their bosses. Gentlemen. Now we know where to begin our investigations. Jude Johnson must be brought out of Kirikiri immediately for an intense question. He and he alone can give us the clue as to where those miscreants are hiding. We must crack them down before they have time to enjoy this little victory. Super Ray, stop. I am putting you directly in charge of the investigations. You will report directly to me, or through ACP here, or ACP job top of him. I want you to commence work immediately. So, I want you to guard this investigation close. Keep it close to your heart. I do not want any leaks. I do not want any mistakes. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. What results? Yes, sir. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. The IG has personally told me that the presidency is interested in this matter. <laughs> Yeah, he just sent an email now. They're moving your father from 
Kiri Kiri to force headquarters on questioning today. Yeah, very good. Very good. Um, so we ambush them and free him. They won't be expecting us, you know. <laughs> no, not like that, Nikki. It's not going to be that easy. We're going to lose a lot. Lose? <laughs> my father will be so glad to be free. That was why I used all the money in my account to recruit you guys. The best government I could find. Yeah. Now look at it like this, Nikki. Of what use is a free man without money? Money is everything, okay? With the boy in our custody, the government will be forced to meet our demands. So your father has his freedom. He also has his money back. And we also smile to the banks with some dollars. <laughs> oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> and to think you're doing all this for me after the way I treated you on campus mm. breaks my heart. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to talk about that, okay? <laughs> Okay. All right, so you take charge of the camp, okay, right? Okay. Danny, yes, boss. was for you and Jethro to sit with the little boy. Talk kindly with him. Play with him if possible. But only do not allow him out of your sight for one second. Jeez. I didn't ask you to burn for him. I stand fine like him as if he captured Saddam and scared the little boy with your guns. Miss, the boy is a hostage. And no hostage is treated differently. Boy, or men. Remove the blindfold. We don't like that. Once you take away the blindfold, the boy can recognize us in future. He can memorize our faces and identify us in future. I'm afraid I can't do that. But then he's just a little boy. Don't be so hard on him. I said remove the blindfold. Remove his blindfold. Hello, love. How are you? Don't be afraid of me, all right? All right. My name is... No! Don't do that. That would be a mistake. You don't have to tell him your name. Next time, you don't scream so loud. Right? And you give him a bath. Comb his hair. And afterwards, bring him to me. Yeah, you must remember one thing. The aim is to free my father. And not to punish that little boy. I've got little ones like him aboard, and I wouldn't want them to be maltreated. Do you understand me? No problem. Oh. I'll see you later, honey. Bye. Good boy. Nonsense. Cover the blindfold.
Did you come alone as our friend? Yes. Except the usual security. He's somewhere around keeping watch. You don't trust me. No. I can never trust any policeman. You are paying me well. Why will I betray you? Look, you know how much I hate questions. Let's get to business. Where is the boss? Ah, good, good, good. Interrogation was brief and fast. As soon as we established that he did not know your location, we sent him back to Kirikiri. Good. to hand this over to the police commissioner. Put it in a place where he'll see it. Be careful to wipe your fingerprints on it. As soon as he gets it, send me an email. Will that be all? That will be all. You get the rest later. Nicky went for a stroll. She went along with the kid. Huh? She what? You know, Nikki boss, we try to stop her steps. But well, she said no boy was going to make her trail, little boy bad boss. And so you let her go. Just like that. What if something happens to her? She took a pistol with her. She took a fist! Yeah! She took a fist! She took a fist, sir? That's what you're trained to do? Look at all of you. Five men, you couldn't stop her. Come on! 
Now if he go nowhere and he go search for her himself. Now if he go inside to take some little ganja. Stick nigga, man. No bitch gonna make him want to slap my ass around here, man. Girl, it's so stubborn, man. My girl's smoke, man. That's how the Cinderella got married to the prince. You know, when I was much younger, my father used to call me the princess. He said I was gonna get married to a prince someday. Do you like the story? Do you like it? Okay, what should I tell you now? Father, why do you like the tortoise? He's a very cunning animal. Don't worry, I'll tell you that, yeah? I would have shot you, you know. Alright, go ahead, shoot. Shoot. Hey, man, what took you so long? Yeah, we have to be really careful, you know. We have to make sure the man has not betrayed us. But everything went well. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Are you going to sit with me? to the State Commission of Police. Who is this? My name is Bede. I paid a visit to your office this morning. <laughs> and I dropped a message just by your door. So if you open the door of your office now, you will see my message there. Keep in touch. Hey, don't go. this morning and that he left this tape 
at the front door. This very front door. Now that is a slap to the face. That is a slap to my face. That is a slap to the face of the Nigerian police force. My right guess is that he's working with an insider. There must be a role in this headquarters working closely with him. My job is on the line. The Inspector General of Police called me. He has given me three days. Three days to crack this case and bring those renegades to book. Or shoot them or lose my job. If someone can come in here, drop a tape, and go back to base so quickly, it means that their base is not far. It must be near to them. Super Greg, so I want you to search every inch of this town. Swamp, river, jungle, forest, everywhere. I want everywhere within a 50 mile radius searched and combed. And I want the results on my table within 24 hours. So, Superintendent, so I want results. As for that bead, if you can capture him alive, I'll be glad. But if shooting him becomes your only option, then shoot the bastard. So. In the meantime, I want every intelligence report on this bead on cover. I want to know who he is. What he does? Does he go to school? What school? Does he have a mother? Does he have two fathers? Does he have a criminal record? I want to know and I want the results on my table today. Yes, yes, sir. Before nightfall. Yes. Officers? Sir. sir. This has become a national issue. And your jobs depend on it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are dismissed. Sir. So, this is uh, the Kibaba B with his mask on. And this is an artist's impression of him without the mask. So, he probably looks like this or any one of these pictures with this guy. He has a bed here. Uh, this one, he has a spectacles on the bed. That is the pictures, those are the sketches, um, the artistic impressions from the police. So, this is the same. Yeah. So we have circulated all the sketches to all our police stations and police posts all over the country. Only this afternoon, um, this came in from Eckert. From Eckert. They had it in their records. It's a passport photograph of Bead. They also sent him a file that has given us very useful information that could lead to the arrest of the kidnappers. Officer, is my son okay? Any news about him? Well, little Kazim is as fine as he can be within the circumstances. I want to know how safe my son is. Tell me about this bit. He was a very bad boy in his university days. He led a band 
of outlaws, a gang that referred to themselves as the intelligentsia. They were into all sorts of atrocities, all kinds of vices, uh, including the procurement of marijuana, stealing of office files and computers, um, distribution of hard drugs like cocaine, all sorts of things. He studied their philosophy. In his final year in the university, he led a gang that kidnapped the vice chancellor to protest his rustication for certificate forgery. The police waited in. The boys were arrested, including Bede. He was jailed for five years. On his release, he ran a gambling casino and he became a martial arts instructor. He has no children, no wife, both parents are dead. He has no known relatives. The only known personal thing about Bede is that he was in love with this girl, the same girl for whom he was rusticated for certificate forgery. How much do the police know about the girl? Don't you think if she's found, she may provide useful information to where he may likely be? Um, they broke up after the forgery scam. Uh, from all indications, she has since left the country. Uh, but our investigations revealed that he, he really loved this girl. I mean, he loved this girl so much, so deeply, that uh, he could do anything for her. Even die for her. Honey, if he's capable of loving a woman, then he might not be able to hurt a child. Please, officer, find him quickly. We need Kazim back in this house. I assure you, Your Excellency, we shall leave no stone unturned. Tomorrow morning, we begin a massive and thorough search of hotels, private houses, and forests within a fifth radius of this city. Within a few days, my men will catch him. <laughs> Yes, I'll fire to informant. Everything clear? Security alert! Security alert! Hunt begins today! You need to move now! Repeat! Move now! <laughs> Thank you, informant. Message appreciated. Note taking. Alpha to informant. Are you still there? Reply. Informant to Alpha. I am still here. What is estimated arrival time of such party? Over. One day, two days, search will be slow, thorough, and very secretive. Over. Thank you. Message appreciated. Send me the house address of the police commissioner via email on my laptop right now. Over. Informer to Alpha. We'll do. We'll do immediately. Over and out. <laughs> Hello. Good day. Good day. Please, we would like to see your manager. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Somebody's my manager to see, sir. Okay, sir. What's going on here? Good day, my manager. Good day, you're welcome. Can I help you? Uh, we have a search warrant to search for them. I see. 
Uh, we'd like to see your guest list. Your names, occupation, addresses, and even their vehicle numbers. You don't have any problem. Mm -hmm. Now, Eunice, uh, bring me the guest record. Okay, sir. Officers, your shot go out there, big more men, go to the rooms, search the rooms, turn! Don't leave anything suspicious, give you money, or anything. Now, go. So have you not heard about the kidnap of the ambassador's son? Oh, the news has been everywhere. Okay. This is the kidnapper. What? Have you in any way seen Marabia or anywhere else? Not at all. Are you? No, sir. Well, we have photocopied the picture. We would like you to press one at the reception. In case any of your staff is possible. Officers! So! the residence of the state commissioner of police. Okay. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I'm actually the wife's cousin. So, I'm, so I'm Angelina is here. Huh? Angelina? Angelina, yes. Yeah. Is it right? Um, excuse me. Yes? Please come. Um, please continue to hang with this. <sighs> you mean with your problems? It's pretty heavy. Um, it's a whole box of clothes I got for half of my trip.
Now you tell him. Whenever he comes back here, that I was here in his house. And if he doubts you, show him the dead body of this monkey here. shoot you from where I am now. I can kill you from here now. Give us one week. Give us one week. Just one more week and we'll meet our conditions, okay? Bullshit. Rubbish. You're talking nonsense. Dude, hello? Says he, I, he has his eyes on me. Look, search all the buildings within the vicinity. Search all of them. He must be around oh, somewhere. Sir, you come here. You come here. I'll be fast about it.
Ein Fassmetz. People like this has been made to face the full arm of the Do you understand me? He can't join. Listen to me. Tomorrow, I'm putting all of you on. Next available flight, you're going to London. My work must continue. He took our passports. He took them. He can't join. He can't leave. I saw him. <laughs> He threatens to kill my children. He said you can bring Scarlet. If you don't drop this case, he will be free of us. And he would like you to understand. I can't leave it. Sorry, baby. Don't worry. Take it easy, Kaka. And so. We call the men back to base. Sir, call off the manhunt for beat with immediate effect. Uh, it's orders from above. But sir, my men got reports that he has a hideout somewhere in the bush. They feel they're close to him. A day or two more, we may have him, sir. Did you hear about my house? I heard, sir. That's why I came to see you. I hope nobody's hurt besides John. He killed John and threatened my wife and my family in my house. That is why I want this hunt called off for now. You must understand so, so that we can buy time and change our strategies. I understand, sir. Send out the signals immediately. What is your name? Okay, now, sir. What did you do? Yeah. Okay, you are not just stuck smoking the boy? Yes, sir. Mm. Good. Thank you. What did you do? I don't do anything. They can't come here. Uh -huh. 
You look like a girl. I'm not doing anything. Oh. I really am. Where did you do this? The third. I found the third one in my house. The third. <laughs> the third. The third. So you, you, you don't know the other side that are your house, right? Are you not a woman? Are you not a mother? I'm not a mother, so. <laughs> Uh, Sibyl? Yes, sir. Um, these are small time crooks and uh, petty criminals. I don't seem to see any body like uh, Beat or any of his uh, people are amongst the suspects. I tell you, sir. Mm -hmm. What do you do then? I'll hand them over to Inspector James. If there are evidences that we can use to. Nail them, fine. Otherwise, set them free. Okay, sir. is dying in his conscience for helping you against his country. Against his work. His work he devoted all his life for.
sent me with this money, five thousand dollars, is for you. In an appreciation of your help, your information, everything you've done for my group. That you accept it and be good. to well change location or hand the ball while we are all part tighten the noose around their necks in readiness for strike. I will have no such talk of police strike. My son is in danger. Each day wasted on strategy, father endangers his life. I trusted you, I believed in you. But it seems that neither you nor your forces are willing to end up this ordeal quickly. Do you want me to pick up arms and go to rescue my son myself? Your Excellency, you must be very careful here. We are dealing with a bunch of ruthless, very intelligent criminals. And the kidnappers have threatened to harm the boy if the search is not called off. Threatened? The search was supposed to be a blanket operation, an exclusive information. How did they know about the search? Your Excellency, we are investigating the possible presence of a mole within our ranks. An info? I see. But I will call the President and Inspector General of Police. But it seems you are incapable of handling matters here. Your Excellency, I'll have you know that I'm in close touch with the Inspector General. He understands and duly appreciates the handicap that we are going through. I can assure you again, Your Excellency, that your son will be rescued in due time. You can go now. Thank you. I would 
love this song I cherish so much. Pipes are intended for me. Can fish. Toothpaste and other necessities. My mind is made up. <laughs> Wherever my son is, I know he needs me. Do you want to die? Ali Asami, do you want to die? Yeah. Before I joined the diplomatic corps, I was a soldier. <laughs> A real combatant who fought on the streets of Beirut in the mountains of Lebanon. Beside, I'm a dead man. A man without a child is a dead man. They took away my life the same day they took away my son. My only son, you know. Calm down. 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 Calm down.
Unfortunately, I cannot say no of my men after your husband. You must understand that we have our methods in the force. Sending men after him, but even in danger his life. He is in the walls. And they are in the life of his son. I can't do that. Excuse me. This is impossible. We have our methods. Methods? My husband and my son are in danger. And all you took over is method and stupid strategy. Oh, God. You have not seen any results. I'm going to write a petition to the Inspector General of Police. If we search for my son and my husband, it's not commenced urgently. Main chap in response to a call in the tariff. And what about that? He's a director of office. Get to Taka, get to Dobo, Mukadiki, and that other boy that runs Katikati. Tijani, quickly, quickly, get there. Sir. The certificate forgery that got him rusticated from the university. Have you found out how we can reach this girl? How we can talk to her? It's all in the file, sir. Her name is Nikita, eldest daughter of Chief Jude Johnson. The same Jude Johnson? Yes, sir. The same Chief Jude Johnson, the billionaire fault star. The same one the kidnappers are asking us to release. Good. Good work, Supo. So, where's the girl now? We traced her to a campus in Greece. She's not there, and no one seems to know her whereabouts. Her whereabouts? Well, the found out. We must know where she is. We already did, sir. We checked the records with the immigration personnel at the International Airport. Three months ago, a certain Miss Nikita Johnson flew into the country, and since then she has not left. We have checked everywhere. We have checked her family house here. She's not there. She's not anywhere that is known. We have checked with friends and relatives. And so the question now is, sir, where is Nikita Johnson? In the jungle. With the kidnappers. That's our nearest possibility. We also checked that option, sir. One, the kidnappers came with a female member on the day the ambassador's son was kidnapped. Two, the leader of the kidnappers is Bede, Nikita's campus love, for whom his love was so strong that he was willing to go to jail and got kicked out of university. Three, the kidnappers operate with sophisticated arms and gadgets, which can only be financed and sponsored by somebody as rich as Nikita. So, sir, you're probably 90% right when you say that Nikita Johnson is in the jungle with the kidnappers. She probably might be the brain behind all this. So now the scattered pieces of this case are putting themselves together. Great works, Great work. You know, 
I'm proud to know that brilliant officers like you still abound in the Nigerian police force. As soon as this case is over, I'm going to recommend you for promotion. Thank you, sir. In the meantime, sir, what do we do? Ah, you invite um, J. Johnson once again for questioning. I want to know if he's in touch with his daughter. I also want to know who is sponsoring those boys. to treat him kindly. And henceforth, everyone should treat him kindly. If not, I'm moving calm and I'm not returning again. So what's going to happen to your father then? I don't know. I guess I'll find another way to get him free. But I'm not going to kill a child just because I want my father free. Did you get that? I won't. All right. Okay, you win. Come on. Let's go back to the camp. Come on, let's go. Come on, I'm not going to flog him. I have another idea. What's the idea? I'll tell you. Come on, let's go. Switch. Said. He's all right. Nothing's going to happen to him. Huh? Take a close up of his face. <laughs> Rub it on his head. Hey! You see, with this, the 
government will think that he's going through serious torture under our provider hands. They will be under pressure to, to meet our demands. Hey! <laughs> Send the tape to all the media houses. Send it to the police. They'll think he's going through serious touch. They'll be forced to meet our demands and they release your father. But huh? He's a strong boy. Right? Yes, you have to. Johnson. Yes. You have a daughter named Nikita. Yes, I do. Where is she? I've been in detention for over a year now. I don't know much of what goes on outside, so I don't know where she is now. Where was she when you were arrested? She was in Greece studying after she was messed up in the Nigerian University where she gained admission with forged papers. Did you hear me, sir? I guess so. Who is Bid? Bid? Who is Bid? Let me take your mind back to your daughter's days in the university here in Nigeria. Yes, I remember him. He was Nikita's friend. Nikita's boyfriend, you mean? No. I only met him once. Have you been in touch with your daughter? She writes letters to me once in a while. But our letters are scrutinized by the SSS and prison warders. And so would you be surprised to hear that your daughter Nikita is not in Greece, but here in Nigeria? Heading and sponsoring with a group of gangsters to effect your release from prison with the help of her so called campus love, Bead. A guy who, by every inclination, is a gangster. And that for over a week now they've been holding an ambassador's little solo stage. I will be surprised to hear that. Chief Judge Johnson, you'll have to pass a polygraph test to ascertain the truthfulness of your answers, if you say so. Take it to the point where it happens. This morning, sir, the cleaners found it by the laboratory doors. Any fingerprints? No, sir, we checked. No fingerprints. You see? Okay. We're all dismissed. who are privy to secret information in this case. Detail security agents to watch their houses and their homes. I want to know where they go, who visits them, who they visit, every detail of their movement. I want to know. Do you understand? Yes, sir. So are you suspecting that um, any of them could be an informer to the kidnappers? 
only a few people have access to the secret files and information of this case. Yet, the information keeps leaking out to the kidnappers. There's a saboteur amongst us, and I intend to find him. suspicion everywhere. The commissioner is keeping his plans to himself.
have a son named Adam, whose whereabouts is unknown. Is this true? With all due respect, sir, <clears throat> um, this question borders on my private family life. I do not want to talk about my family when I should be discussing official matters. You see, Assistant Commissioner ACP Edwards Ian, this is an official matter because it has come to our notice that you saw Adam was a very close friend of Bid in the university. Bid? Who is Bid? Who is cut the crap? Bid! The kidnapper! Our own suspect! Who is your friend watching on television? Well, I don't know who my son's friends were in the university. You deserve that one. Because of his association with bad guys. And you forbid him to ever come into your house until he desisted from those guys. And for five years or so, you've never seen him, right? But you still have father enough for him. You still have that fatherly connection. So when you got the call from Bede, seeing that Adam was with him in the forest, that he was part of the kidnappers, you were all too willing to stoop so low as to give him whatever assistance that he needed. You were the moral, the student, the servant of on the hope that maybe, just maybe, you could save your soul from arrest and possible death sentence. Look, this is business. This is the formation of character, Mr. Commissioner of Police. And I have a mind to see you. How can you make such wise and baseless allegations? Come allegations, baseless, blatant. Did you think I got to this place that being baseless and blatant? Sit down. I said, sit down, start the first period, officer. Your son, Adam, visited you. Last night, true or false? It did not. I have not seen Adam for the past five years. I put my bed on your house on a 24 hour surveillance. And you sit down there and you lie to me. They almost arrested your son last night. But he escaped after setting a blaze his car. He bought the car so he could escape without leaving any clues. But my men had a good look at him. And they can identify him any time. You can't prove this. I cannot. No, you can't. So go. Bring in the woman. for you, I sent my men to arrest your wife and interrogate her. She has been giving us very helpful confessions. Well, sir, I... I'm sorry, sir. Please, sir, please. This is the work of the devil. That give me that! Please, I'm pretty good here. The service, do not let it end like this, please. Please, I beg you. Please, 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 take him away. Please, please. You try to get him. Please, sir. Please, I have every bit of information for him. I want to know their whereabouts. I want to know their phone numbers. I want to know everything. Please, sir, please.
Alpha to informer. Identify yourself. Over. Alpha to informer. Your voice is different today. Give the password. called me with the informer's phone and he couldn't give the password. It was not his voice. It means it wasn't Adam's father. I think somebody must have found out that he's the one giving us information. They're now using his phone to track me. Adam now escaped arrest the day before yesterday. I think he left a clue to his father. I think we have a visitor here. Look, just straight up here. has come for his son. Prepare a grand reception for the ambassador. Then let's go for him before he comes for us. Good idea, Omar. Take two men. I want you to bring him alive here. Don't harm him, just bring him here. Remember, he's an ambassador. Consider it done, Postman. Go and everybody yes. take positions. Danny, come now. Omar, go 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 you are in charge of that little boy. Nothing must happen. Come to him.
Well done, Omar. Okay, boost man. You're welcome, Mr. Ambassador. Ah, Halan, wasa Halan. As you say in your country. <laughs> we hope you find our hospitality very hot and befitting of an ambassador. <laughs> Take the white man to see his son. <laughs> well done, boys. Boss, the ambassador is sleeping. Wake up, ambassador. The boss is speaking to you. child again. Do you understand? Nonsense. Listen, Mr. Ambassador. You give me your wife's phone number now. Give us your wife's phone number. What is your wife's phone number? Talk! Zero one. Zero one. Seven seven. Seven seven. Two eight three. Two eight three. Three five three. Three five three. I'm going to call your wife now. And I want you to talk to her and tell her that you are in a very bad shape. And if she doesn't move fast and put pressure on the government, I'm going to kill you and your son. Hello? Yes, hello. Hold on for your collar. Zara. Honey? Where are you? Stop crying. Listen to me. Tell her to put pressure on the government. They have to put pressure on the government. Tell her you're in a very bad shape. I'm in a very bad shape here. Any time from now, and your son is almost dying too. I know your son is almost dying. She must move fast and put pressure on the government. Move fast. All right, 
Listen, madam. My name is B. I want you to put pressure on the government to meet with our demands or I'm going to kill your husband and your son. Shut up! Go to bed. Madam, calm down. Calm down. My husband and my son are suffering. They are in danger. They need help. You can't just sit here and tell me you're on it. Do something. Madam, Do something fast. Madam, I can assure you that the police is fully onto this case. And we are handling it with tact and professionalism. As regards the danger facing your husband, let me once again reassure you that I've already given explicit orders that the search resumes tomorrow. And the men are from a special unit of crack detectives trained specifically for this kind of duties. It is the best you can ask for right now. Please, please, whatever you just do it fast. Do something. Honey. Honey. I have begged you. I have cared for you. I have even gone down on my knees begging you to put your hands off this case. But you wouldn't listen. Is it when your entire family is wiped out that you listen? Enough of this woman. Enough of this. The boy that is being held is somebody's son. The man that is being held in that forest is a fellow woman's husband. No, Joanna. I will not hands off this case. It is a job that I have to do for my country. For Nigeria, my father. Tomorrow night, you leave for London. I have booked a flight for you and the children. You will be safe there while I solve this case. It has lingered for too long, and if it is not handled properly, it could affect my job. It could put my job on the line. Do you understand that? Understand. Do you understand that, Joanna? No, 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 no. no! No! Leave him alone! You'll never get the land with you, bastard! Shut up! Leave him! <laughs> what about you? They'll kill you if you find out what you did. to be found. The ambassador and the son are gone too. Oh no. <sighs> I guess Nikki set them free. And she is leading them out of the jungle. Everybody here knows that Nikki has excessive love for this child. And she is willing to do anything for him. No, no. If I see Nikki, if I ever set my eyes on Nikki, huh? Well, we should all quit the assignment and uh, disperse. She's the only one to see her father afraid. If she has lost interest in the job, then what are we doing here? Of course. Who is fooling who? No, I'll tell you what we're doing here. Huh? We need the money. We need the money, man, to put our lives together. After all the sacrifice and suffering, Nikki has thrown a spanner in the works. 
Jetro and Kings, eh? Look for her. She must be brought to her senses. Now, now. Yes, we'll come everywhere and look for her. Boss, mm -hmm. let's take you into your head. Oh, shit. Boss. Oh. No! They are my people! You can't kill them! Okay, I'm going to escape to the major road. You take your son home! I will sort myself out. So what? We keep on running to be faint and they catch us? No! No! We're going to hide somewhere until they pass us. Come on, come on, I know it's done, but yeah, you do it. Suppression. Shit, boy, let's get there. Mm. 
Come Boss. Boss. Omar, Jethro and Kings have been gone for two hours now. They are not back. I fear something has happened. Nikki knows her way in the jungle very well. And the ambassador I hear was a soldier in Beirut. If we lose them, we also lose $60 million ransom. We found a dead body. So what do we do? We'll go after them. Comrades, let's go for our money. was shot from the back. Means this is an ambush. Okay. All right, Danny. Boss. You and Benson. Okay. Proceed through the right. Maintain a semicircle. Curve into your left. Okay. We will go from the left and curve towards the right. Okay. okay. And circle them. Adam, let's go. Seem to be sleeping. No one is in sight. Not a single soul in sight. They should have guards. While they sleep, we should be very, very careful. Maybe they have moved camp. It's possible they know we are coming to. Now, this is what we're going to do. We'll sneak in on them, capture the leader, and use him to disarm the others. You understand? Yes, sir. Sorry? Now, let me make this clear. No one must hate the ambassador or his son. 
no one must hit the ambassador or his son. Yes, now, if everything else fails, get ready for a straight shootout. A straight shootout and make every bullet count. Yes. Am I clear on that? Yes, yes sir. Now, we are three hurts. Two take each and four outside to keep cover. Let's go. expressed a lot of concern about things and he has directed me through the inspector general not to spare any resources in ensuring that this case is cracked expediently as i speak with you the best men in the nigerian police force are deep in the jungle fighting tooth and nail to bring his excellency the ambassador and your son back home uh, the president also directed me to present this check to you for the sum of five million naira to alleviate any financial difficulties you may be encountering as a result of the absence of his, of the ambassador. On behalf of the Lebanese diplomatic community, I do welcome your consigned overtures. Were it possible, I would have requested that troops from Lebanon be brought in to find my family. I want to thank the good president of this country and the entire police first. I believe in them and I know they won't fail me. Thank you. I wish to thank you at this time for your understanding and confidence in the Nigerian police. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I am from the Daily Post, sir. I hope the discussion went well, sir. Um, Can you please tell us, sir, why the Interpol were not invited to handle this matter? Uh, yeah, yeah, sir, is it sir, that the police is incompetent that made the ambassador to go in search of his son, sir? Um, sir. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Sir, excuse me. One more question, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. We heard the ambassador is dead, sir. Gentlemen of the press, gentlemen of the press, if you will be kind enough to come to my office by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll give you a comprehensive press conference. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Um... 
running the temperature. I know. I noticed that in the afternoon. The sooner we get to the road, the better for him. He needs a doctor. There are grass cutters in this jungle. Should I shoot one for you and roast it for you? No. I ate a lot of wild fruits. Oh, my tummy hurts. I think I'm soon going to start poaching. come to attack us now that he knows where we are let's leave here immediately no now we got him we have become the hunters and in the jungle if you don't kill you get killed if this survives never you know I will be safe again not as long as he lives come on let's get him Drop the gun. Bill is not to be killed. He is my man. So why are you doing this? Because I don't trust you. Once you get rid of Bill, I'm sure the next target will win myself. So you wish to kill me? No. I'm going to lead you out of this jungle at gunpoint. Then you go home with your son. All right? Move. Move. All right, don't move an inch. Just stand where you are. You betrayed me, Nikita. Betrayed me. After all, we've been through. Betrayed me. Don't move. All right, Your Excellency. You know what happens to traitors, don't you? All right, take this. Pick up the knife and kill her. Go ahead and kill her. Now. Don't. Daddy, please don't kill it. No, I God damn it! I won't. You can shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Dur. Lan oturma. I can see the ambassador is not doing badly for himself. Yes. He seems to be leaving trails of blood everywhere. Yes. Pick up his gun. There must be somewhere around here. Move it. Let's go. By tomorrow morning, we'll get to the major roads. We'll get the vehicle into town. We'll get the boy with the doctor. And the little boy's order will be over. What about you? I need time. I need time to make fresh plans on how to effect my father's freedom. I must really love your father very, very much. When I was a small girl, then he had no money. He could not afford to celebrate my third birthday. I was a laughing stock amongst my classmates. So he sold his suit. That's all the suits to buy me an expensive bed cake. I took it to school the next day and I celebrated with my friends. My lost pride. My lost pride was restored. I would never. Forget the sacrifice. He loves that suit. You really still. You really still like a young child in your heart. I'm missing you to sleep. Quickly go in search of a leaf. Bakio's fever went chewed. I think it will keep Cousin's temperature in check before he sees a doctor. Nikki, do you have to bother? He may develop a convulsion if his temperature is not somehow controlled. And we don't even know how soon you will get home. It will be late in the evening. Please let me go, alright? Hey, alright, you be careful, okay? Yeah, I will. And make sure you keep your eyes open, alright? Yeah, Oh my god, they must be in trouble. Stop. 
Stay with me. 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 Rest in peace, Nikita.